Greetings mortals, I am Natus, the ruler of the underworld, and today we will be reacting to the newest chapter of Black Clover, chapter 361, titled, Doomsday Army! Ha, huh, for a battle that's gonna be probably called Judgment Day Battle, whatever it's gonna be called, it just took a while for the Doomsday Army to show up. Or is that supposed to refer to the Doomsday from DC Universe where that would actually take a lot of while for them to come there because Doomsday does not fly? I mean, I guess that would at least explain the delay, but still, kind of a weird they are just now showing up. But yeah, anyways, uh, let's get into this chapter reaction, shall we? So we start this chapter off with the aftermath of that slice that Yuno gave to uh, Lucius and there says, Yuno puts everything into his attack. And now Lucius is... Really? That's everything he put on Lucius on the final attack? I mean, I, I not, not, that, not that I want to downgrade it, it's definitely going to look better in the anime, but like saying that he put everything that slice is kind of weird. And, you know, that kind of slice just felt like kind of outwitting in a battle of swordsmanship. Not really super impactful. Just, just saying kind of weird thing, but whatever. We uh, then get a couple of panels where we see you know looking down at Lucius as he's on the floor in his base form. As it also seems like you, uh, Lucius doesn't wear pants on any of that cloak that he wears. As we see also a close-up of it as we see him slice through the chest fully, like pure clean. Like, he, like it's not like one of those, oh, is it, how deep is it? Like, no, this is clearly seeable that it's like completely through. Which I gotta give it to Yuno, he's quite a brutal slicer, because he cut right through Xena in half, now he cut through Lucius in half. The guy is sufficient, to say the least. But yeah, anyways, then we have him looking on, as then Yuno is trying to get, he's getting this badass looking down at Lucius. So he's like, I win. As he has a look at the kind of eyes. But as he says that, we see Lucius in his um, paladin form. Already behind him, with him not smirking but looking like, oh yeah, you totally just won this fight. As then we see uh, Lu uh, you know merely creating the shield, which, funny enough, it seems like he actually has both the uh, sword and the shield act at the same time, which I guess makes more sense, but still kind of weird because I don't think he has ever had any other of those weapons, spirit weapons, with him two time, two at the same time. Or maybe he's just like in between just for me, but I think no, he's supposed to have both of them. Maybe just a weapon -y type of thing, you know, like a battle axe and a sword just kind of feels like a weird thing to have at the same time. And I mean, to fit anime logic would make sense, but still, it, it would kind of be odd. Anyways, they have, you know, be like, what? How? As he's wondering why that, as he looks down at Lucius again, it's like, oh, or he, maybe he's, I don't know if he's looking down at Lucius to check for certainty, but. He comments that that was no illusion. Well, no question, that was Lucy's body, as we still see that thing that was cut down in half on the floor and all bleeding all that. As they were, you know, saying, but so is this one. So, yeah, there's no illusion magic, which honestly, because in the world, how established and how much of a magic system they have and all that and creativity and all that, I'm kind of weird that that's like the weird thing. Oh my god, there's a Lucius body, but there's also so the real one, but it's not the illusion, and what's going on? I mean, I would think that copying people, make some kind of similar creatures to Gollum like that would probably be not that, un well, not common, but still like not that impossible to comprehend. As they have, uh, you know, uh, Locus or something, thing, as then we see like all the buildings, or uh, kind of like sent to, I think, yeah, going up and are being ripped from the ground. And then we see some, I want to say, either Silver Eagles or uh, Azura Deal Squad members be like, What the? The city! It's. As then we have this uh, Lucy has time to speak as he says, Currently, I possess soul, body, blood, and bone magic. Jack, there we get a close-up of Yuno's face. Not fully, but, you know, a close-up of Yuno. As then we get a cl closer to Lucius's face, as Lucius says, I'm not capable of even cloning myself. 
So yeah, all that theory about like when uh, Dante was defeated by Asta and Yami about him possibly just creating a clone of himself and sending it. No, that's actually uh, what that actually is true. That it happened, but it wasn't Asta and Yami versus Dante. It was Yuna versus Lucius because that's what's happened here. Which again, I do have to ask this. I get soul and body magic being combined to create a copy of himself, but why are blood and bone needed? I mean, just saying, from what I've seen, Dante regenerate his bones, I'm pretty sure that he filled that up with blood. I mean, to be fair, the way that uh, Yami is used, Dante is, is always portrayed seems to be more flash-like thing, but just saying, it's kind of a weird thing, like, it's supposed to be bo oh, it's supposed to be like, I get, again, I get it, it's supposed to be the standards, but still, it's kind of weird how it's mentioned, but body seems to, like, encapsulate all the other two as well. But regardless, we didn't see how this uh, amazingly uh, this, this panel with the buildings and everything just being kind of going up from uh, the Netherlands spell, as we also see some of the, those weird golem creatures. As we have Lucia saying, even if you're all beyond my foresight, my plan is still flawless. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. To be fair, it, okay, to be fair, the the, the plan isn't bad, Lucius, but saying your plan is flawless is stupid because I'm pretty sure that your plan should not even happen without Asta, even with your future side, because I mean, maybe he's not referring to this part of the plan, that part of the plan, maybe he's referring just to the, he, him having all the hearts, all the power already, because, again, like, I mean, it's beginning, how, like, I'm still con confused, and no one has explained to me, how did Lucius even get to, like, anywhere, because, the way I think about it, there is, alright, maybe you could make a claim that Patry, Taking over William's body would not have been an issue for Lucius. But still, like, there's so many flaws with him using his future sight and things that unfolded. Like, he barely even did anything. His siblings were more fucking uh, involved in the plan than he himself was. Uh, was. And even they were, and even they, they participated only after the parts where half the stuff would have already been it, uh, beyond repairably damaged. Like, quite legitimately, I feel like the most effective plan would be for Lucius, as soon as the army in the spade is fully assembled, fully capable, you have 50% of the disciples, 40% of the disciples, to just invade everyone, take over every land, use the nobles or whoever would be uh, scumbag enough to side with you, have them get the devil rituals, get the army, then uh, get Morris, have him not give him Don, Don, do not give him Lucifero, but give him some other, give him something to power up and create some kind of new creature, maybe just give him Zagret, and then you, like, work together you know, and create an army that can defeat Lucifero, because, again, like, even Lucifero stated himself, the magic of humanity is superior to the overwhelming magic of devils, so I feel like if you combine things and make strategies, you could have fought from the way you could beat or hell, maybe you could even have more participate by making Lucifer weaker, so you'll be still easy to get the heart. I mean, guys, it's not really, it's not still, it's not really clear how exactly Lucifer, uh, how Lucifer, how exactly Lucius managed to get the other heart from Lucifer, you know, the remaining fifty percent. But I still feel like it would be able that. If that's the thing, I feel like there was probably plans you could have made that would work better in this convoluted mass. Unless if you if you consider being having your all of your brothers and sister being beaten up and possibly killed still up in the air on that front, what happened to all of them? Them is what was the perfect part of your plan. It's still a fucking imperfect idiocy that only will work because plot required it to work. As also he and he then continues with, I will create a primordial nurse. Primordial nursery in this land, as when he's moving everything there, we have people screaming like "kya kya," as then someone is like, "quickly, we must uh, evacuate the civilians." I think mean, that's what's saying. Mm -hmm. At least, as then we ha have a bit of chaos. As then we uh, 
got more in the sky as we see out of the this field uh, of this Neville, of Neverland as Lucius finishes this, his statement with and descend onto it to rule as the wizard emperor as we see like a fortress kind of thing or Colosseum honestly is more likely in the air as I think we see that tree that the uh, Zograta siblings were in but I'm not sure if we see them there it's kind of difficult to say it's like it's a very far wide shot you probably have to I probably should have like look a bit in it a bit closer but still as we just get close up in there as we see Lucy as just kind of like real boy Lucy just kind of sitting there and be like ah, where is all this going to be over I, I really want to get into my uh, chicken tiny this right now but I can't or something as he just still just kind of stares at air I'm guessing but anyways that viewer saying it doesn't matter if there's two of you I'll just take you down again you do you took a lot of damage and it was really difficult for you to defeat one how do you think beating two of them in three of them in a row is going to even be possible and third you know I, actually, I don't need to face the third sentence, because I think Lucius will do it for me. As this Lucius says, Who said there were only two? Well, two remaining, but whatever. And then, you know, we get more close up on you, you know? Then we get close up on his eyes, he's wise and shocked, as he sees a bunch of paladin Lucius all around them. I guess they have invisibility or something, because previously they were not there. As we see, like, you know, going up against what looks to be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, yeah, 12 of Lucius's copies. So, you know, if his plan goes as he wants to go now, he's going to go up against now, 12 plus the 13 one that's the king. And I don't think that will be possible because, let's just say, the other pal. Then Lucifer, Lucius is also there. As they have Lucy, you know, in shock being there and probably horror. As what, what the two of the Lucy say to him, you were strong, you know, Greenberry all. I mean, he is still strong, it's just he's not strong enough to defeat all of these spells in Lucius. Then we cut to our battlefield, different battlefields. We see, I'm going to assume, uh, assume the Azura Deer squad. As they are going up against uh, six of these uh, holy golem creatures and a paladin Lucius. As then we have, we got to the purple orcas with their captain Kaiser. It's kind of like, uh, I guess, uh, kind of uh, removing some of the blood or something of his sweat. As he's like, what the? As he's in shock over the fact that he no one has to go up against cloned body of Lucius, which he's gonna lose, like, he's like one of the least, if not the least focused and important captain, so he's dumb down and out. That's surprising not only in the shield barrier. Anyways, then we get, uh, I think green, I'm not sure that these are supposed to be green mantis, uh, or silver eagles, like, I wanna go with green mantis, or again, could just be a uh, Zordia squads, as one is just falls on his knees, like, it's so uh, over because again, like now everyone has to go up against Paladin Lucius. And why are the power level in of these copies is not really clear. I personally feel like they're gonna be a lot weaker because why would you what like because that's usually how these b copies work. Like, I'm not saying, okay, tell, seriously, you, tell me one manga captain that had the ability of copying himself that was that the copies were equal to their power level. Like, the only time I think this ever even happens in media where the copies of someone are equal is when that character is, like, not really that powerful on their own, like Billy Numerous or Duplicate or whatever that those two are from Marvel and DC, respectively, where I think the number is all they can do. But, yeah, uh, it, I'd, it's yet to be explained how powerful those guys are, although I'm pretty sure people in Black Clover fanbase are definitely going to start claiming that these guys are equal to Lucius's power level. I question it, but whatever, whatever makes you happy. As then we see, I think, confirmation this guy's from the uh, Civil Eagles, as he says, no matter how you look at it, it's impossible. Well, that's quick. 
As then we see uh, uh, Noel looking like she's going to go, have to go up against her mother as well as Bob and Lucius. And then we also see the, the f five of those golem, Angela golems. As then we get to, uh, to see a close up of Noel. Noel, as she says, not yet. There is sto still hope. Like, seriously, people, I literally just won this transformation. I didn't even do anything with it. At least now the all looked like she was about to punch more as I literally just, well, got this campy outfit, but nothing else. <laughs> Which just kind of hilarious to me. I don't know why. It's just something funny about the fact that, well, when this transformation, but we've seen her barely do anything with it. That, like, there's barely any distinguishing power. It literally just looks like she just got a skimpy outfit. Anyways, there we get to a flashback panel. Not certain how this is a flashback panel or if there's something missing. Just, I mean, I'm guessing it's supposed to be a flashback because of the layers around it, but whatever. It's a flashback panel with the black bulls in the witch's forest. As we see uh, Vanessa in a very um, interesting shot for her best, or to emphasize her breast size, as she with Nock. Grey, Gauche, uh, Charmy, and oh, look, there's Nero! I was wondering where she went. I guess she was with the, these Black Wolves for some reason. As, in, as well as Finwell, Zora, Magna, and Luck, all there, and the witches, what she tells them. I know you'd be the only person who could find the one we are looking for. Uh, Witch Queen, we need your help, as well as the Witch Queen gets another, like, one of those shots to emphasize her breast size. I mean, that's supposed to emphasize how she's looking up. Uh, from everyone else, because again, there's like four, and everyone's down below, and yeah, all that mess. And then we have the Witch Queen look, uh, closing her eyes, as she starts speaking with, uh, I foresaw divination at your arrival. The anti-magic boy, Asta, he is alive in a foreign land. As then we have Magna and Vanessa looking at, uh, shock, shockingly at her, most likely because I suppose she's cooperating so easily, because again, they were not expecting her to be so cooperative. As then we have the Black Bulls reacting to that news, then we have one saying, No freaking way! As Finn's like, I knew I or someone. As Graham gets this guy saying, Oh, thank goodness! And someone's like, That, I'm probably like, nah, that idiot thinks he can just go traveling or what? And someone else is like, I'd like to try it myself after we, he returns. I'm not sure who says that, because at least others like, I can't kind of assume, but I'm not sure who. Maybe the bubbles are supposed to be the giveaway, but still, I'm not certain. But I was there, the Witch Queen saying, However, the distance from the country is too great for him to travel here. Yet not far too great for the Paladin to travel there, I guess. Maybe it's somewhere about the unlimited stamina. As there we have another saying, Din, what do we do? As there we see a certain witch in pink. Chipping out, she's like, Oof, hoo, not a problem! As then uh, we have Dorothy Answorth, finally, and then after God knows who knows how long, finally doing something. As she says, as she shows up, as we get a shot of her, also kind of going with the same shot as the uh, uh, Vanessa and uh, with the Witch Queen. But unfortunately, since she doesn't have breasts, we have to result settle for uh, what maybe has. But regardless, she's there. As she's on the Witch's broom. As we have one of the black boys directed with, You're the captain that called Peacocks! What are you doing here? Well, I know she's a witch, so she'll obviously be there. As then we have uh, Dorothy chipping out says, I too realize that the, to defeat Lucius, we will need Astakun, whose future can't be seen. To a point I have to wonder how he, that uh, Lucius bot even came to, to pass. As then we have Dorothy saying, with us working together, the three greatest witches of all time. Not certain that's really Im impressive, seeing or anything, since you know witches are average magic users at the best. I mean, yeah, you could say, oh, Dorothy, Vanessa, and the Witch Queen are powerful, but I see them. They are like weird. Like the Witch Queen could either be considered the strongest, could be considered extremely powerful, maybe on the levels of the Wizard King and the. Uh, I guess the uh, Queen of the Heart Kingdom, but the thing is, she was, I mean, getting, but pre-meeting, uh, start of being the Captain Yami was able to deal with her, or at least run away, or somehow got around her, 
to get to Vanessa, so he, she can't be that overwhelmingly stronger than everyone else. Then we have Dorothy, who spell level really is difficult to tell. She's probably the, the most difficult to rank. And Vanessa, who's just... Keep your life shit. But yeah, anyway, she tells them that anything's possible. Don't you agree? I'm assuming it's referring to the fate, her dream magic, and... Whatever manipulation blood magic the Witch Queen has. Anyways, there we have uh, the Witch Queen saying, I believe this is the first time you've returned since you left the forest on your own. You seem to be in good health. As there we have the Dorothy saying, Easy now, Witch Queen Sama. Is there some history about that that we don't know? Because now she says easy, like, maybe Dorothy did something that pissed her off. Although, no, although, if my theory that uh, Dorothy uh, came to the Clover Kingdom because of Nozelle or something like that, or like the two Matt, uh, is true, then I do have to feel like that's the reason why she's so pissed at Dorothy as well. <laughs> but anyways, they have the Witch Queen saying, The word is at stake, and so we witches shall lend you our aid. Yeah, um, you're the only one who actually needs to... A late aid. Everyone else will pretty much already be working and helping everyone. But yeah, anyways, then we get to uh, a create a giant rune ritual type of thing. As I'm guessing, Dolph is the one that explained to it. Focusing on the Black Bull Spatial Mage, while he invokes Super Compound Magic Door of Destiny. Uh, just think of the person you want to meet, and you you'll meet them. It's lovely spell, isn't it? As that's what Dorothy explains. As then we uh, see it, and I guess that's why I guess the witches of the witches forest, as well as the figure, uh, as the face strongest, uh, Dorothy, the witch queen, and uh, Vanessa are like, ah, it's like they, they really jump over how this spell is supposed to be operating. As we, anyways, we have the Finner in the middle now with all the witches around him. As he's like, huh, me? Is this really okay? Hold on, doesn't this kind of Look uh, like a sacrifice, which is true. That does kind of, there's definitely a resemblance to it. Otherwise, I could you expect from the, the witch's forest. <laughs> but yeah, that's how they're gonna get the spell. Is gonna be some the figures, which is somehow combining space, uh, fate, uh, blood, and dream magic are gonna with the power mana or something of the other witches. It's combined now. And thanks to the fin of spatial magic, they're not gonna come create a portal for Asta and assuming they're using seven to show up because it's such a great threat. As then we cut to the uh, to the land of the sun, as we see some servant be like, here you go, this is an import this is important for you, right? As we see the black bull rope, as Alistar grabs it, like, yep, thanks. Alright, let's go! Time for the Black Bulls to completely take over every single fight and every single action. So it's gonna be for the fifth time, well, for the third time in this series to completely establish how everyone who is in a Black Bull, who is not wearing a Black Robe, is absolutely useless. Look, Leg legitimately speaking, if we just had every, if we just abolished the Magic Knight system and just said we're the Black, the, it's the Black Bull army, and have everyone wear the black robes. There'll be literally no threat in this city. There will be literally no threat that will ever arise because the black bulls are the greatest and the only ones who have to do anything at all. As he just puts the cloak on as the head and such up with, he departs for his immediate battle. Surprisingly, there's no statement about there being a break next week. Although I will not keep my hopes up, there isn't going to be a break next week because, like I said. For some fucking reason, Shonen Job has to poison their writers so they cannot finish their fucking stories. At least that's my theory on why they seem to be getting sicker every single day to a point where they are unable to finish it. But yeah, anyways... Also, I'm not disrespecting the writers, it's just, I understand, I completely understand, but still, like... The guys... Like, I'm pretty sure they have been, like... Last month it was like, a break, uh, there's no break, but then not break because the boy had to go to a hospital or something. Just saying it's a bit weird going on the last couple of chapters. But regardless, that's the other chapter. So this chapter is... Kinda, I kind of want to say it's a mess a bit. Or like, I'm not sure if the structure of it is really the best. Because this whole... Like, I don't know, this flashback about uh, the witch's force and all that kind of gives me the idea this should happen with the 
with the previous chapter ending up with the Black Bulls, Witches Forest, Land of Sun, Asta all being there as the explanation, which would finally probably work best to explain this spell in a better sense and just being having like one panel with it with a small, very brief explanation on how it works to really have it functional. Because again, like the transition seems really random of all things, especially if this is supposed to be a flashback. And then we have the whole, uh, not the fact that a lot of the, Noelle didn't even really do anything with her dragon, uh, this dragon form. Aside, I guess, being a bit stronger, though, I'm not even sure if Axel like, so is damaged or uh, or not. As, and the whole twist with the Lucy just using combination of his siblings' magic to create an army of, army of clones and so it does make sense, and it's probably more logical than anything else. But still, it seems kind of weird. Just saying, it seems kind of weird how they just kind of show up and it's over. Like, this is just a confirmation. It's like, like oh shit, like, oh, despair, it's despair. Like, usually at least has to be something they do to do to get the emphasis. Or to be fair, like, I don't know why. Just usually, like, there's some kind of overwhelming power outplay outpaid by the characters. But here's, like, just buildings go up in the sky, which is definitely a good feat, but still, I feel like they could have been, like, some kind of, you know, maybe a captain is immediately taken down. Like, who's, uh, which captain is still standing? Uh, Fogolion, I guess? Charlotte? One of those two? Maybe Kaiser? Not even being directly taken down? Like, just a real, real, I don't think has even been, has even appeared after the battle commenced it. So, maybe him? I don't know why. It just feels kind of an odd thing to just, I'm like, just saying, this, just, it just seems like really random. And also, I feel this also spurs the moment of talking like how long is this going to be and is this the final battle or is there going to be more? I don't really know. Like, I kind of want to say there is, that this is not the final battle because just saying like, this moment where you have these characters all showing up with all these copies of Lucius, it's kind of feel like a good, like a good threat to take down with the characters now, but the thing is, there's also a lot of paladins uh, or caps that have yet to really appear. Well, not a lot, but still, quite a few caps that haven't been fully explained. Like Damnatio, where is he at? His paladin force has showed up. A drama, who knows where he is? And I think there's one more paladin that we, that was shown with the first when it was first hint to uh, Morgan, but it was never really fully, sh you know, shown it. If that was, or it might have been someone else, but I don't think. And that was someone, but yeah, that's that's kind of like there's still quite a few challenge to show up. Like maybe that maybe that's going to be like when uh, that it, maybe that's going to be the moment when uh, like Lucifer emerge or something. But even so, I kind of don't feel like we're gonna have like three volume uh, battle. Three volumes of battling against Lucius, co Lucius copies would really be that exciting. Just saying. I mean, Lucius can do a lot more with the magic, but just saying, it would be kind of odd. But I kind of feel like that would make more sense to be a moment where all those regretted siblings, if they're going to get part and formed, would show up. Because, you know, that makes more sense, in my opinion, as like the big Lucifer thing than the other remaining paladins not be showing up or something. I don't know really, but yeah, this chapter, nothing really bad about it, just kind of a messy, put stuff together kind of thing, like, like, not just stuff everything together so we can get to the Black Bulls showing up and being the shit out of everyone, but we'll see if that's going to be the case or not, but yeah, anyways, um, I hope you like this chapter reaction, I hope to leave your thoughts on this chapter in the comments below, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to this channel for more videos in the future. And with that said, I can't wait to see all of you mortals next time. Goodbye.